Hello, Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we're back playing some Crash Landing. In our last episode, we set up this guy over here. Oh, we started to set up this guy over here. And that is that this thing is flipping loud. Jeez, that is really, really loud. Okay, first things first, let's make ourselves a sound muffler. That is this guy up here, and basically what it does, you guessed it, it muffles sound. So we're going to grab some wood, we're going to make these into planks, and we're going to make ourselves a sound muffler. Because I cannot deal with that much noise anymore. Jeez. Okay. We've got ourselves a sound muffler. This is good. This is good. We'll take this guy. We'll put this guy down over here. Flip in. There we go. Look at that. A little bit quieter than it normally would be. Uh, so, yeah. We were setting up this thing over here. And we have our six barrels. Which uh, take the uh, all the items from the harvester via the item ducts. And uh, spread them out to their designated barrels. Uh, I have locked um, two of the barrels. I'm going to lock all of the barrels. Because I had a little bit of a problem. I didn't lock the rubber barrel. And what happened is when wood came in. Instead of going to this barrel. It went to this one. And then the, the rubber tree saplings had nowhere to go. And it was just all a big kerfuffle. But uh, it should be all be fixed now. And everything should go where it's supposed to. So, what? What's going to happen is all the stuff collected by the harvester from these trees is sent through to these barrels. Uh, the saplings get sent back to the planter so they can replant the saplings and, uh, and grow them again. Uh, the apples and rubber and the rubber wood kind of just sit here for now. This is not really needed. Uh, we could take this down. And I don't think I'm going to hook that up because it just confuse matters. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this like this so all the normal wood gets pulled out and cooked up in the furnace into some charcoal which then goes underneath this road all the way over here and to all of these survivalist generators that we've got over on this side. <coughs> bah. Bah. Now I've up now I've made a couple of more of the now, I've made a couple more of these since last episode. We had, I think, four or six last episode. And now we have 20, which is producing us 100 redstone flux per tick uh, if we have all of them full. And I think quite a lot of them have got 64 charcoal in. Uh, these end ones haven't quite got it yet, but, but quite a few of them have. So we're going to leave that doing that. And then underneath, we have redstone energy conduits, which are bringing all the power back towards the redstone furnace, the planter, the harvester. And then we can use it for anything else we may desire in the future as well. So that's all set up and self-sustaining and we pretty much have an unlimited source of wood rubber 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 wood uh, apples and saplings which is pretty flipping cool uh, i also set this up over here now we've got this um mob grinder that we set up a few episodes ago and, ooh, stop taking my stuff jeez what the heck what the, what, I, what, the, what the heck look at the, what <laughs> what i am being charred like a thousand times per second there run run Run. Okay, so, okay, let's see if I can blow up a creeper. There we go. Come on. Blow up. Blow up. Please. Come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Didn't quite... Oh, flipping... Why do they blow up servers? I'm not quite sure why, but for some reason they seem to be blowing up the servos, which is not nice. Okay, so what, what I did before this thing blew up is I had something like this set up. And basically what this is going to do is all of the mob essence that comes out of the grinder will either go into the portable tank or into the reactant dynamo. And then what I've done here is we can make this an output throw on a server like this and we could set it to ignore redstone signal so it's going to always pull stuff out and we want to specify that we only want to pull out gunpowder so we change it to a whitelist and we throw some gunpowder in there and now what it's going to do is it's only going to pull gunpowder out of there and send it over into the um the dynamo now we can use our wrench to get rid of this uh, so yeah all the gunpowder goes in here is going to go up to the dynamo with the mob essence and this should just continually power itself which is pretty cool now the downside is that we're getting attacked by flying spiders no <laughs> the downside is that uh, this chest is filled up incredibly fast with uh, with just junk like the, all these bows we don't need all these bows we don't need all these broken boots i mean feather falling is nice and it's nice that we've got gold boots and stuff and uh, leather pants uh, oh, no, look at that chain pants. I'll take those. Uh, but we don't really need all that stuff. And the grinder doesn't work when it doesn't have anywhere to put items. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up some stuff. Now, let me see. Do we have uh, the trash can? Let's... Oh. 
something did not like that. But stop with the flipping rapid firing arrows. Jesus. Okay, let's see. Do we have a trash can? We do. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to have um, some barrel. I'm going to make some more barrels because I flipping love barrels. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to eat first because I like to eat. Let's grab some wheat and let's eat. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, guys. I think that's incredibly loud. Uh, we'll grab some wheat. Here we go. Make some toast, because we love eating toast. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to make some barrels. And what we're going to do is we're going to have it set up so that all the key stuff that we actually want from the grind are, like, um, uh, gunpowder, spider's eyes, string, probably zombie brains as well, because we can make zombie jerky and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, spider's eyes, all those, all the actual, like, useful drops. Uh, bones, obviously. All that stuff, we're going to try and keep in barrels, and the rest of the stuff is just going to go straight into a trash can. Like, uh, we'll probably keep arrows as well. But, like, all of the empty bows, all of the broken um, boots, and all of the, just the other random stuff that comes from mob spawns, uh, I think we're going to not keep those and instead just, just palm them off and deal, throw them in the bin. Throw them in the bin. There's no point in keeping them. They just waste a bit of space. So, let's grab a few chests worth, like this. I think we're going to need more than four. We'll take... Three more. Seven might be enough. We'll see. I, hmm. It might be enough. I'm not sure. We'll make some slabs like this. And then we'll make ourselves some barrels, which I think is like this. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm learning the recipes here. So we've got a few more things left. Let's go grab some more uh, oak wood from over here. And we'll make ourselves those last four barrels. And I think we'll probably just set them up something like, um, just like, Maybe line them up along here like this, possibly. I might do something similar to what I've done here. I might have, uh, like, four on the bottom and then maybe four on top so it doesn't overlap the squid farm and the, the generators over here. So let's grab some wood. Thank you very much. Look at that. 15 stacks of oak wood already. Jeez, we've got a lot of wood. Let's, uh, <laughs> that sounds, there could be a joke made somewhere there. Right, let's, let's turn some of this wood into this guy. Like so. So we'll take that. Let's make, let's make one more just for symmetry sake we'll make uh, we'll make eight like this thank you and then we'll throw these down over here and now we're gonna do the same sort of thing we're gonna uh, lock uh, lock the barrels to a certain item so that we don't get too much junk just sort of flying around everywhere and i think we are gonna have to do it something like this so we'll go one two three the reason we're gonna stack these barrels like this is mainly to save on item ducts uh, so we can just do stuff like this and this and this, there we go. Stuff should, I think, oh no, it's not going to get, is it? We're going to have to, we're going to have to, hmm. Hmm. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? We're going to want to have, okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. We're going to have an item duct coming out of this side and not connecting to there. And, okay, we're going to have to move this chest somehow, which is going to be a real pain because it's got a ton of stuff in it. Right, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, all right. So, we're going to have this here. We're then going to have that not connecting there, if at all possible. Come on. There we go. We're going to try and disconnect this. And then we're going to have... Um, we're going to have gunpowder whitelisted over on this side here. So, we're going to need a server, which is locked in here for some reason. So, we'll take that back. We'll throw you down. We'll try not... What the... What the heck? I mean... Okay. I think that was some sort of... Um, dirt creeper? <laughs> I, I, I don't even know. Flipping special mobs, you know. They're flipping everywhere. Okay. We'll try and get this server back, which may take a bit of time. Uh, let's see. Can we grab... Can we grab the server? Look at all this stuff. Throw my... Just throw my, my pickaxe on the floor. Let's let's put this chest back down. Let's jump. Here we go. This seems like a more logical way to handle this. There we go. Okay, that's a bit better. So we'll throw all that in there. We'll take the server back out. And what we'll do is we will whitelist over here. What we'll do is we'll whitelist the gunpowder to go over here like that. So the gunpowder should go over there. And then we'll have item ducts coming out of the first one. Do, 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 do. Where are item ducts? I have them on me. We'll have that going like that. So now, if we make that an output, like this, that should, I think, in theory, send the gunpowder over there and send everything else um, elsewhere. And where that, I can see giant mobs, so we're going to start throwing stuff at me, so I'm going to go to sleep. We also need to cook our bread into toast, otherwise we're going to be very hungry. So what I'm going to do is I will craft these up. Here we go. Crafted. 
Maybe. There we go. Start cooking those up and let's sleep. <laughs> there we go. Flipping neck. I, I'm I am terrified of those giant mobs. I don't even want to try try and go up against those guys. All right, let's take. I'll take half bread and and then some toast because as you know, you can only eat so much of a certain thing before it comes a non-nutritional. Doesn't even help you at all. So we'll get a few of these. Is this even doing anything? It is. It's doing a little bit of stuff. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to have to break this dirt in here because at the moment things are just not happening because there's dirt blocking up the system. I didn't know you could break item ducks that easily. Can we can we sort of reach around here? We can. And you can see the mobs are dying much faster now because the, the, the barrels are providing a place for things to go. Let's get rid of this. Is that like a, is that like a thief? That's a thief skeleton. It did. It said thief skeleton. Jeez. Look, at, look how strong I am. I killed that creeper in one hit. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Okay. For some reason, sometimes it'll block off... Oh, gosh. That, that, that creep looks horrible. For some reason, it will block off the... Um, um, some, sometimes it breaks the item, but sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure why. But so what we'll do is we'll lock that. We'll lock that. We'll lock that. We'll take you out and throw you in there. Take you out. And let's have a look. What do we want to keep? We want to keep bones. We've established this. Bones can go in there. We want to keep gunpowder. That's a fact. We want to keep string because string gets us wool. And wool is nice. We're not really too bothered about keeping dirt. Uh, bread? I mean, bread's nice and all, but I don't know if we're going to keep it. We'll, uh, we'll put you there. We'll lock brains in there. Let's see. What else do we want to keep? Arrows, definitely. We can start a little arrow army going. And then bones. Hmm. See, there's quite a lot of stuff that I'd like to keep, but we need quite a lot of barrels to get it to, to get it fully fully functioning. Like, I'd like to keep all the iron that comes from these and all the gold ingots. And I'd, I'd also like to keep the, the feathers and, and the coal. But we don't have that many barrels. Let's get rid of... Um, we don't want to have one dedicated to that. That's just not how we want to have it. Um, let's see. Is there anything else we really want to keep? Um, I get leather. Yeah, we'll, we'll, take, we'll keep leather. Leather's a nice one to have, especially because we don't have any cows. So we'll lock that. We'll lock that. We'll lock all these up. And then what we'll have is we'll have an item duct coming off there. We'll do it off the back here with all this flipping dirt. We'll have it coming off the back. And then we'll make ourselves a trash can and just throw all the rest of the stuff that, uh, that we don't want to keep into the trash can. And therefore, the grinder will continually keep working um, because there should be enough space until, of course, we fill up the, uh, the 64 stacks of stuff that the barrel's allowed, which, to be honest, is probably not going to be that long. So, trash can. Hashtags. Trash can is this guy here. Let's... Oh, it's not that bad, is it? Is that... Oh, okay. We need three normal stone, uh, three cob... Uh, set five cobblestone and a chest. Okay. Let's grab a couple of you. We'll throw some of you in here. One, two, three. We'll go grab ourselves uh, some wood for a chest and we should be good to go. Let's take... You, we also need to sort all this fat as well, but we could just throw all that into uh, into the trash can if we really want to. Uh, I do quite like having a bow though. I, I could get used to this if we can just start like shoot off some skeletons. It would be really cool if we could get infinity on this thing. That would be very nice indeed. Let's make ourselves a chest like this, and da -ba -da, da -ba -da. take you two. And once this guy's finished, thank you very much. Let's do this. And we got ourselves a trash can. So basically, for those who don't know, uh, the trash can will just delete anything that's put inside of it. Anything that goes into the trash can just gets deleted from the world. It's gone. Can't get it back. And it's, it's, it's just, it's gone. Game over. It's done. So we'll put that there. And basically, anything that's not going to any of these, uh, all, all the items that come from the uh, the grinder should pass through here. I think the, um, the gunpowder should try by default to go to here first. And if it can't, it will go to this one. And then everything else will go past here. If it can go into one of these barrels, it will do. If it can't, it will head on over and end up in the trash can. Like all of this stuff that I'm throwing in right about now. Got to be careful because if I press the wrong button, I might lose like a stack of wood, which is not nice. Uh, so we get rid of all those. I get rid of you and you and you. Oh, spider's eyes. We didn't keep any spider's eyes. <sighs> I might have to add more barrels, guys, because we don't... There's some more stuff that I want to keep. So, hmm. I don't know. Do we really need that many spider's eyes? Really? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I made two minds about spider's eyes. Jeez, this flipping skeletons. Flipping egg. Okay. Let's bin a few more things, like you and you and you. Yeah. So, we'll bin all that stuff, and we'll sort all this stuff out into its proper place. Let's see. We'll put brains in there. 
Do we have any more arrows? We do not. We do have some gunpowder. We'll throw that in there. Feathers, we're not keeping. And then I think everything else is pretty much good to bin. So we'll bin you, you. Uh, we'll keep the spider's eyes. We will keep most of the other stuff. The wheat. Flint, we can throw away. We've got a ton of flint. Sugar, I'm going to keep. I don't think we can use sugar for much, though. Uh, we'll keep all of you. I think everything else is pretty much good to keep. We'll throw away that. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the look of the rest of that stuff. We'll keep all this. All this stuff here is, is useful for what we're going to do next. So, let's, like, get rid of you and uh, pick this guy up. And we'll make use for you somewhere else. So, I think that should, in theory at least, work very well now. This is broken. Why? Why has this broken? Just just why? Did a, did a flipping huge mob just fall? Why... I may have to change some things up because this doesn't seem to be working very well. They seem to be breaking the item ducts, which is just mean. Let's eat some toast. Okay. Uh, let's throw you on here again. And we'll whitelist gunpowder if we can. Flipping heck, come on. And what I'm going to well, Okay, I know what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is let's just quickly whitelist gunpowder. Here we go. Let's quickly whitelist gunpowder if we can. And for some reason we can't. I think you gotta you gotta click on it without holding anything in your inventory, which is really hard when you're picking up a bunch of crud off the floor. Come on. Okay, here we go. Gunpowder whitelisted. Done. Put that back in the chest. Eat some toast because we're oh it's thirst, it's not hunger. Here we go. Here we go. We need water. 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 Please. I need water. Let's just I'm gonna throw this guy down again. Here we go. Just, just go away. I don't want any of you. I don't want any of you. Just go away. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we got a bit more water now. This is good. So, what we've got is... What was I about to do? I was about to do something. Oh, covers. Okay, so what we can actually do is... I believe we have forged microblocks on this. So, what we can do is we can go um, get a saw, which is this guy here. We can get a stone saw. It's just uh, some sticks, some flint, and some normal sticks. Uh, cobblestone sticks are just cobblestone in a, a stick fashion like this. We are going to need three of them though, so we'll take two more of you. Thank you. I think we have some normal sticks back in here. Uh, da -da -da -da, we do. And then do we have a piece of flint? We should have at least one piece of flint somewhere. And if we don't, I'm going to be very sad because we just threw a piece of flint away. Seriously? No flint? No, we, we should have a ton of flint. We, we, we were like... We were... Oh, they are not. Hmm. Oh, we might not have any flint. Oh, that could be. That's gonna be a pain, isn't it? Seriously? No. Oh, is there any in? Oh, there's nothing here. Uh, this guy is not outputting properly. Let's output to. That should work. Oh no, this guy. Okay. Well, output input to there. Is that gonna work? There we go. Okay. So let's go start sifting through that. I think we get flint from sifting through gravel, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, flint is made from sifting through gravel. Yep, sir. Let's uh, let's speed this up. Come on, sift through sift through the gravel. I need a piece of flint, please. Is this doing anything? Wow, have they just like? I don't know if they've insanely decreased the amount of stuff you get from this, or whether or not it's just I don't know. I mean, flipping heck, we used to get a lot more stuff. That I'm sure. Come on, I want a piece of flint. That's all I want. All I want, piece of flint. Please? It's like the most common thing. Like, seriously, the most common thing. Piece of flint. All I want. One piece of flint. Just the, just, I don't want lapis. I really don't care about lapis. There, nope, nope. Okay, I thought I saw some there, but I didn't. Just, just, just one piece of flint. Is there a recipe for flint? Like, no. I've got to get it through here. There is a... What is that? 35%? 25% chance. So 1 in 4 should get us a flint. And I mean, I'm pretty sure we've gone through about 50 here. So we should have like at least 12 pieces of flint. Come on. Come on. Just, 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 just. There we go. Okay, flint. We'll take these pressure tubes back as well. Let's get rid of you. Let's take you. And we can now make ourselves a, uh, a, flipping, a flipping saw. So we'll do this guy here. Saw. Thank you very much. And then what we can do is we can just get ourselves some of these. And we can cut these up into slabs. Then into panels. 
and then into covers. And we can use these covers to, to stop them, just to, just to hide the mobs. We're just going to hide them. We're going to make sure they don't see the light of day. We're going to make sure we can't even see these guys. So basically, we're just going to have it something like that. Did that work? I don't think it did. We're going to have it something like... Move up. Oh, okay, it kind of worked. <laughs> we have one there and one there. There we go. So... I'm pretty sure that mobs can't see through these, so hopefully things shouldn't break, things shouldn't go wrong. Everything should be nice and dandy. So, we are losing gunpowder here. I don't know if it's because it's not getting enough, and I didn't want to do that at all. Uh, I'm not sure if it's not getting enough, or if it's just we haven't had... What the heck? How? Mob griefing is turned off. Mob griefing is, like, off. 100%. There is There are zero, zero percent on. What the heck? It might be something to do with the special mobs. Like, I don't know, but flipping heck, this should not be happening. Let's let's cover this back up. Flipping heck. Move out of the way. Please. Can we can we do this? You know what? I, I don't even come on, just 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 play nicely. Right. All I'm asking is you play nice. I didn't want to do that. Let's put that there. Let's get rid of you. And then let's put this down here. Okay, I'm going to back away. I'm going to back away. And I'm going to hope and assume and pray this works. I think it should. Maybe. I'm pretty sure this should work. Okay, so uh, with that, guys, I think I will end the episode there. We uh, we got quite a bit done. We got ourselves a sample fuller down. We organized all of our mob drops, which means we are now getting a lot of our stuff. We now have ourselves a pretty much infinite source of power, albeit not the uh, the most energy-producing one. We don't have a ton of redstone flux, but we have a bit, which is uh, more than we could say like five episodes ago. Uh, someone in the comment section did suggest that we make ourselves a sludge boiler, or that we at least start to hold the sludge made in that. And actually, one thing we'll do before we wrap up here is let's make our ourselves let's see do we have any obsidian we should have some um oh no we can use the barrels can't we okay let's let's get rid of some junk um let's just throw some stuff in here and uh, we can use our stone barrel which i don't think we have i think we have to make a new one but we can take a cobblestone barrel and we can make ourselves some obsidian now if we get obsidian we can make the open blocks tanks so is it this is it normal stone Oh, it's smooth stone. What is that about? Okay, so we'll get some smooth stone going. There we go. Uh, for those who don't know, that's the scroll wheel. You can use a scroll wheel to scroll in and out, and it'll just put stuff in and out. Same is true for a chest. You can scroll wheel in and out like that. Um, oh, I did make some, uh, some more. I forgot to mention this completely. I made some more compressed iron between this episode and last. Uh, I also put the uh, UV light box back and made two more air compressors because I, w I wasn't sure whether or not this would increase the, uh, the rate at which pressure went up if I added more of those. I think it does because I added those and it did fill up pretty fast. So I think that does increase uh, the speed at which you can, uh, like, the pressure goes up. So I think that's definitely a good idea. Uh, I made those and what we're going to do next episode is we're going to start to look at getting some A stuff going because I, I desperately need an applied energistic system because flipping tried to craft trying to go back and forth going through all the barrels going through all of this stuff over here and getting all that stuff it's a real pain and the only reason why is this going yeah it is the only reason why i didn't go for it this episode was because i looked at the uh, the ae stuff and say we wanted a 1k storage disc uh, we would require um, all this stuff here, which looks fairly simple. We have redstone, we have glass, we have iron. But then this guy here, we have certain quartz, we have redstone. But the ME Basic Processor, again, needs this PRC LX100 Logic Expansion Card, which means we need to go through... Um, we have to go through pneumatic craft again. We need another one of these uh, printed circuit boards. So we have to make a bunch of transistors, capacitors, unassembled PCBs. We're going to have to make a ton of these because we need we need quite a lot of storage disks. We need a flipping ton of basic circuits. So we are going to have to make a, an absolute flipping but ton of them. So what I think I'm going to do at the start of next episode is set up the um, the thing that lets us uh, input and output without breaking the glass. And hopefully we should be able to uh, to make a lot more stuff a lot faster with pneumatic craft as well after that. Uh, are you done? You are almost done. Uh, then we should be able to make... Oh, we're going to need even more, aren't we? Do we have any... Oh, we do. Okay. Oh, look at this. We have... What are we doing? We have like a ton in, in there. Here we go. We'll take you. Make you. Thank you very much. And then we should, I think... I'm not too... Sh uh, let's just get rid of like you... You've been replaced. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure whether or not I left the crucible. Jeez, there were a lot of big mobs out there. I'm not sure whether or not I left the crucible up on top of the uh, blazing pyrothium. I think I did. 
Of course, there are monsters nearby. Please? Who is nearby? Who Who is nearby? Who? Whom? Whom would be nearby? I don't see anyone. Let, let me sleep. Please? I need to sleep. Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to sleep. Do we have any spare obsidian? Ah, we don't. Okay. Well, you know how I make obsidian anyway. And basically what I want to do is I want to get some of the tanks from open blocks because I think they look flipping cool and they store quite a lot of uh, stuff and they're infinitely expandable. So basically if we get four obsidian and two glass pins, what we can do is we can make ourselves a tank, which we can then use to start storing some of the sludge boiling stuff. Uh, if, we store the sl if we store the sludge, we can then put it in a sludge boiler when we get one and get a bunch of free stuff like dirt, sand and uh, clay, I think, and bricks and all that good stuff. And we can also put one down of start like a tank over here, fill it with mob essence, and that way, at the minute, we're kind of wasting mob essence, because this guy's full, this guy's full, this guy's full, and we're still killing mobs, so we're not getting um, optimal maximum amounts of mob essence, so we should really make a tank and start storing it up, because then we can use it with an auto spawner later on to uh, to specifically spawn whatever mobs we choose, so uh, yeah, that could be pretty cool, but with that, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode there, what I'll probably do between episodes is uh, continue to do some new magic craft stuff, so we're ready to do some A stuff next episode, and I'll get ourselves a bunch of obsidian i'll come back i'll have like 16 obsidian so we can make like eight tanks or something and we'll make um we'll make two sets of tanks one for the sludge boiler and one for the mob essence but uh, yeah if you did enjoy the video be sure to like and i will see you guys next time Bye bye